It is an exciting day here at Four Motor Coach. I am so glad you are with us. I am Steve Duval, and I want to take you back to March. We were in Salt Lake City. We were at a little show called RBX. And at the time, we brought you a prototype of a B van. We thought, what would happen? What would it look like if Thor Motor Coach took and created a B van with all the bells and whistles you love? We're talking solar, we're talking hydronic heating, everything that you like when you're on the road. But we did it in a nice, compact, easy to drive on a ProMaster chassis. So, guess what? we did. We took a lot of your feedback, a lot of your advice, and we created the sequence which we are going to take and walk through you today, every bell and whistle, with Mitch Johnson, who is the product development manager on the sequence. Thank you for being out here. And how exciting is this to have this here in front of us? I think it's very exciting. It's kind of a long time coming. It's something that's been in the works for, for many months. We, we had a lot of product development put into it prior to the RBX show. Right. Um, and it was really after that show that we decided to to, to kind of run with it, and it was really that customer feedback that, that gave us that extra that extra push to do it. Yeah, and so what we're going to do today is we're going to walk through, and when I look at Facebook, so I'm not, not paying attention to you, and I'm not distracted, I'm waiting for your comments to come in so we can get you some live answers. So Mitch, go ahead, let's walk through the chassis. Let's talk about what we have here, uh, and I guess we'll start, we built it on the Ram ProMaster, but we built it on the window van. Yes. So let's talk about how we did that here. Well, the reason we went with the window van uh, is because it looks a little bit, you know, it looks a little bit sleeker, a little right. bit more, we'll call it residential. Sure. You know, a lot of those vans out there, you're going to see it's actually a panel van that people mm -hmm. cut the, uh, the ports out of. And, you know, when you're driving this around, you're not in a submarine. Right. You know, you're, you're not the, the plumber coming down the road right. to fix it, to fix uh, somebody's house. But you, we wanted this to really look like something that, that a customer would want to own. Um, so we started out with the with the window van on the it's the mm -hmm. Ram 3500. All right, and we actually change oh. out the windows it comes oh, with. Yeah, absolutely. So one of the one of the big feedbacks that we got right. from our customers was you know we got to have airflow, especially right. in such a small mm -hmm. footprint. We wanted to make sure um, that we had plenty of airflow. You didn't have to run your AC all the time. So on a day like today, where it could get a little steamy in there, we right. wanted to make sure that mm -hmm. that with the fans on, uh, you got good cross ventilation. That was kind of key mm -hmm. for us. So one of the windows we actually take out, okay. and we had this one right here. So you kind of see this little frame, and we'll actually demonstrate once we get inside how it works. But this actually pops in and opens up. There's a little screen in there that you can remove if you want. Um, but that's that's just one of the little things that we do at Thor to, to kind of mm -hmm. separate us from, from the other vans that are out there. Nice. And we got, uh, and let's talk about the okay. 3500 uh, chassis that we're building down. Yeah, so this is going to have a, 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 a chassis that gives you a 36-foot um, turning radius. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then it's going to have a 3.6 liter V6 um, engine, and that gives you what is it, roughly 280 uh, horsepower and 260 foot pounds of torque. So there's plenty of power behind this little guy. Um, so it, it gives you the, the opportunity to really get up. And, you, go. and it, it does, and I can vouch for that because we were in the mountains I was driving, mm -hmm. and I put hundreds of miles on the prototype, which is mm -hmm. this out there driving up and around the mountains and the curves, and it handled great. Yep. It, it, it really, really did. So it's got the power to. Mm -hmm. Get you where you need to go. So we, we power back. We got to let's walk through the side because we got the, the power retracting mirrors, which will demonstrate when we get inside. Mm -hmm. So those are going to be heated uh, and remote. Uh, okay. As you come down the side here, you'll notice that we have a, a good step up right here. That's not going to be something that comes in and out. It's it's there, but it's a high enough profile that you don't have to worry about bottoming out on it. There's right. actually LED lights that illuminate um, the the bottom of your step here. So when you're um, at your campsite at night, you, you, know, you know where it is and you don't yeah. accidentally trip over it. Well, we also have LED lights up in the awning, which we'll put out when we get inside as well, because yeah. there's a couple of neat options with, uh, mm -hmm. with the awning. Over yeah. here? Over here, you have a satellite hookup. You okay. know, a lot of people who are going to be tailgating um, or kind of camping someplace for a while, they, they'll bring their own little satellite dish. Mm -hmm. um, and this is just a place to hook that up. You also have two... Um, two two outlets right here. This is great if you're going to set up your camping table, or set right. up a crock pot, maybe a, maybe a blender, something sure. like that. Um, this is going to be one of the, the feet that um, when we demonstrate the awning, uh, it's actually where you attach it to the vehicle. And of course, you know, kind of like a lot of our vehicles, right. you have your your uh, LP quick detach right there. So if you want to, you can bring a little portable grill out here and have this be your, your grilling station. And a lot of people say the wind makes it hard to hear. I, I... We can't control the wind. It is it's nature. It is what it is. It's it's in the outdoors. This is how it is. But it's actually cool and comfortable today, so we're not going to complain. All right? That's <laughs> it's the wind. It's mm -hmm. nature working. So as we're in the back, great 
bike rack here that we're going to mm -hmm. demonstrate. Yeah, one of the things that we really wanted to, uh, to accomplish with this vehicle is give it some of those higher end features. Right. Um, and one of the ways we accomplished that was uh, having a Thule bike rack. That awning we t uh, talked about earlier, that's a Thule awning, a Thule roof rack. So kind of give it the, those higher end amenities. If you want to, we can actually pop yeah, this off real quick. And I apologize. This is my bike. It's filthy. We just got back from uh, Sleeping Bear Dunes which is an amazing place which this would actually be really good at. So you have, to, you have the yep. straps here, you press down, you pull those out, and then you simply twist here. There's a key that you can lock this, mm -hmm. and that is your frame lock. You move that up, and it's pretty light bike, just like that. And away you go. And you can fit two bikes up there. I'll run this over here. And out of the way. Simple, easy, to, and, and these are adjustable as well, so you can kind of fit the wheelbase of your bike, but it works simple just like that, and you can see there's the locks that we're talking about there. Mm -hmm. This also you know, flips, flips up, up and, and yep, that hangs on right there, but we'll leave it out for yeah, the, we'll for the, gotta get the bike back. Gotta, gotta get it back get home. <laughs> so we'll open up the uh, inside here, and uh, I guess while we're in the back, we'll kind of give you a peek of the wet bath, because there's a lot of features on the mm -hmm. outside that mm -hmm. uh, are kind of tied into the inside, so mm -hmm. I guess we'll go ahead and yeah. Start. We'll start here, Mitch. Perfect. We'll start here. All right. So this is a wet bath. Mm -hmm. um, so that means your your toilet and your shower are all kind mm -hmm. of in the same area. Right. Um, you'll notice we do have a shower curtain that when you are taking a shower, it's controlled with this valve right here. Uh, goes around and kind of protects all the cabinetry, and you don't have to worry about getting anything wet. Um, flip down sink. Yep. Flip down sink Abracadabra. right here. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Um, you know, when you're working with a B van, it is such a kind of a, a confining space. You got to get a got to get a little creative with, with how you use right. some of it. Well, so it's space maximized, and I guess that's oh, one yeah. of the things where you look at. Uh, you know, you could have just a, a van, mm -hmm. but having something like this, mm -hmm. if you are at, let's say, when we went to Sleeping Bear Dunes, now granted we were in a, a 31E bunkhouse, mm -hmm. but you go out, you explore, you come back, and you you have a facility, and you can have the air conditioner on and you can make a snack because this mm -hmm. has got a fully equipped kitchen which we'll take you around so mm -hmm. i mean there is a, a plenty of room you can see uh we stored our camera gear in here <laughs> there's a nice camera bag a nice camera there. bag camera not included you do have the ability mm -hmm. to to actually section this right. off with a with a couple pocket doors one's on the okay. other side as well um we do latch those uh to the we latch those open so when you're driving around they don't open and close on you um but yeah like i said this is uh a wet bath that allows you to, to really maximize the space that you have in here. Now back here, yeah, back here you have a, a couple of things that, that you don't normally see inside a bathroom. Um, yeah, this is where your water pump switches, and then there's a light switch as well. Um, but this light switch doesn't work with anything inside the coach. It's actually for your dump station on the side. Oh, okay. So when you're camp, so when you're if you're camping at night and you have to go dump the black tank or the gray tank, um, you just flip that light on right there. And, and to my knowledge, there's not a lot of people that that actually do that. Give you that extra light outside on the on the non-camping side of your coach. Yeah, black but, and gray tank though, uh, about 13 gallons about, each. About 13 and gallons each. Heating pads, correct? Yep, and they come standard with heating pads. And then your fresh water tank is going to be about 26 gallons. Okay. So uh, one other really kind of cool feature is this has a quick connect sprayer. Uh, it does come with each, each van. You can hook that up and have a water fight out back if you want. <laughs> um, but the reason I really like this is because if you're out surfing, if you're out camping right. and somebody really does get dirty, you know, sometimes it's nice to, to give somebody a quick spray down before you jump even into the shower. Right. Whereas if you were in a class C or a class A or something that doesn't have you know, direct access to your bathroom, um, you know, you're going to be walking through the coach while you're wet, while you're muddy, um, while, you're, while you're still in the process of getting clean. Back here it does also have a, a short cord. This is going to be a 30 amp okay. coach. Um, you do have, so that means you're going to have one air conditioner. It's uh, 11,000 BTU. Uh, once again, that all comes standard with the coach as well. And there's our, our 3,500 pound hitch mm -hmm. with, the, uh, with the five pin connector. So great for if you want to tow, mm -hmm. you know, maybe you, you, a dirt bike. Yeah, you know, and when you're talking about a B-Van, the, yeah. the purpose of it is so you don't have to tow a full vehicle, Correct. right? Because it's it's already, you know, smaller than, than a lot of F-150s mm -hmm. out there, um, or, or a lot of a lot of those bigger trucks that you see. So Smaller than your F-150, Mitch. So smaller, smaller than my <laughs> F-150. Um, you know, and, and so whenever anybody asks, oh, is it a huge coach, right. you know, you drive past them, you know, something that size every day. But if you look, you also we also try to offer as much little right. storage as possible. Um, one thing that's actually kind of cool is how we keep the toilet paper dry. Um, this is something that, that, that people like to point out when you when you open that, it actually rolls that backwards and, and unrolls the toilet nice. paper for you. 
but that is going to be waterproof. So you don't have to worry about your paper getting wet. All right. Um, one big thing that we haven't pointed out back here yet is going to be your ladder. Uh, one of the challenges when it comes to a bee van is how do I get up on top? How do I do my roof maintenance? You know, what happens if I want to get up there and check something out? Some people just completely opt out of the ladder option. Um, and some people, they'll, they'll attach a ladder to the side, but that kind of widens up your vehicle. Now, uh, someone oh, is sorry. asking, and I think Montiel is a little sarcasm, Montiel. That's okay. Says, I like having a window while using the facilities. So, I mean, if you want privacy, you can have yeah, privacy. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can still cover them up. Um, you know, and... It, one of the things that, that we always, you know, make sure is when you do have private, or when you're back here, we want to make sure that you are, you know, right. that you have the ability to keep right. people out. So we do put a little latch on there, because um, generally there's not a lock on the ProMaster chassis. That's something that, um, after a, we actually had a couple of employees use the, use the prototype coach, they said the one thing we got to have is a lock on the bathroom. So we do use them. <laughs> so you want to, uh, let's take this off. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so as he's unstrapping that up there, you'll notice it, it comes out pretty easily. And then over here, um, this is actually going to be what holds your ladder in place. Uh, people who, ha who have used our prototype coach said this is actually great for holding little brooms and dust pans okay. as well. Um, so what we'll do is it's, it's yeah, actually it's just, held, long magnet. just held on okay, with the magnet. Yep. And this straps on real nice and easy. So that's I'll take this side. And then you can climb up to your roof rack. There we go. And then you just kind of latch that down like that. Mm -hmm. Away you go. Just that easy. All the way up, little telescoping ladder. There we go. All right. And you bring it off so to the light. side. Hey now. <laughs> and then you set it where you want, and away you go. And it's not marking, so it's not going to jack up your uh, nice and shiny paint job. I got a little crooked on there, but it should be fine. It'll still hold. Yeah, it'll still hold me. Yeah. Um, but when you get up here, we have a couple things that, that I'd like to point out. Like I mentioned earlier, we do have the Thule roof rack. Um, it, you, it's uh, adjustable, so you can move those around. You can also go to the Thule website, get extra bars um, or extra racks that go across the top if you want. <coughs> so if you want to add your or add space for your kayaks, you know anything else you want to put up there. Um, we also do have a solar panel that comes standard. That's going to be 190 watts, okay. um, and it that comes with a solar panel control, and it's just ready to go right from the factory. Nice. So, yeah. Uh, we have our tank flush over here, and that's the light switch you're talking. Yeah. About. So that's the light that's going to turn okay. on. Um, then your your tanks, your your dump tanks, and everything are going to be right down there. All right. We're over here. Yeah. Our yeah. vent for our Truma, which we'll show you when we get inside, which is really neat. And then over here. A couple little things. We have your city fill, and then you have your water fill as well. You know, we, we really wanted to have a lot of attention to detail in this right. coach. Um, traditionally, when we have a city fill and a water fill, it's just a white sticker that goes on top. Right. Um, we kind of wanted to class it up a little bit, sure. do an arch sticker, and, mm -hmm. and make it look a little bit nicer. Now, we also have like sewer, yeah, the sewer hose storage. Um, this is, you know, instead of... On Instead a class of grabbing it out of a bin, and you're like, <laughs> oh, wow. or grabbing it out of the bumper on a class yeah. C, um, you know, we wanted to give you that space okay. or at least a place to put it. That way, you don't have to keep it on the inside of your coach. Okay, we got uh, our low point drain is there, propane fill. Yep, uh, low point uh, propane fill. You also have uh, here's where your 30 amp cord goes in, and then here's where you plug in your satellite or your, or your uh, I'm sorry, your campground cable. Okay. So and this um, also oh. has uh, the wine guard connect on top as well. So, yep. Which we'll talk about as we. Go, go inside. inside. Oh, we got a little door here, Mitch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There so this is going to be where your fuel fill goes. This is a 24-gallon yep, yep, gallon gas tank. tank. Um, you know, Steve's probably got more time behind the wheel than anybody else just driving it through the mountains. Yeah, you know, and I was doing, I was doing somewhere around 15, and that was up through Salt Lake, and we mm -hmm. were going up to some, uh, up to Snowbird. And uh, you'll see when you watch the video that we're going to release after this, where we, we, we got some beautiful, uh, beautiful shots out there. But, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I spent uh, quite a bit of time behind this, and I, I am really impressed with the way that it drives and the way that uh, we have everything laid out from an ergonomic mm -hmm. standpoint. So let's uh, walk through the dash. And one thing real quick, clearly yes. the seat, you shouldn't drive with it like this. We were just playing with it. Why didn't you tell me before I <laughs> Before we took out. was a little weird. You know, one thing I, I, I always like to point out is we added an emergency yeah. start to this. That's not going to be obviously something that comes from Dodge. Not all B-Vans have that, you know, right. but that's kind of one of those features that was a carryover from, mm -hmm. from our class C's and A's. And you know, that's, like I said, some of that feedback from those customers are, you know, if, my, if, if a battery dies, I want to have the ability to, to jump it off. Now, the, one of the other features we were talking about here, Tom, you want to come around oh. the other side, um, is we do have one, you can adjust, uh, you can adjust the bottom and top mirror, and it folds in. And I think a key has to be on. Anyway, the mirrors do fold in, but uh, I have this on the side. Yeah, the mirrors do fold in. Look around this way. Here we go, Sam. We can show off all the. Uh, where do you want to climb in at? Here, I'll come in. I'll, I'll come in on the come inside on the if you side. if you want to hop in here. Yeah. Oh, I think the 
did. All right, here we go. And I like what we did with the, uh, because we had changed out, we had a different brand of um, head unit in there, but we went with the Pioneer, and boy, it's just loaded with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And mm -hmm. even the little diagnostic thing you guys did, I thought was really awesome. Yeah, so uh, rather than just kind of a traditional, we'll call it Class C or, or even an, an, an A radio, we decided once again to kind of step it up with this coach. Um, we yeah. actually tied in a, a lot of the vehicle specs, so it'll tell you what your tire pressure is. Mm -hmm. So it has TPMS on it. Um, and then it is actually even a little bit bigger, bigger radio That's than right. the one that we uh, debuted at the RVX show. Uh, it's still going to have your Android Auto, your Apple CarPlay, you know, all those bells and whistles. And that was, once again, feedback from customers, right. you know, in, instead of using uh, a, a GPS system that can become outdated, you know, just plug in your phone and, and you're ready to go. Uh, you do have all those ports uh, kind of right here underneath yep, the steering wheel. Yep, that's the one wheel. for your, uh, your Android Auto and your Apple CarPlay. Yep. Um, and then, you know, if... if if you, if, I don't know if you want to talk to this a little bit, but as far as driving it, you know, how, how loud is it or how quiet is it compared to a, to a regular uh, motorhome? I thought it drives more, I mean, I think it drives very quiet. Um, it's not unobtrusive. We can have a conversation in here. Mm -hmm. You can turn on the radio. It is. It's just like driving a regular, it's, mm -hmm. it's just like driving a regular vehicle. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not in your face and you can't hear. No, I thought it drove very nice. It was very quiet. I was listening to the radio. I could, because of mm -hmm. all the hands-free connections, mm -hmm. I could call home and I could talk to my wife and I could mm -hmm. talk to my kids. And it was a, it was a fine, nice, crystal clear conversation. So mm -hmm. I didn't have the issues. Where, and sometimes you get into some of the bigger motor homes and they are mm -hmm. a little bit louder. You know, and, and uh, kind of a, a, a true story was one of the people who, or one of the guys who took this, this coach out um, was actually talking to his wife via the Bluetooth. Right. And traditionally, even even in a car, yeah. you know, you can hear the road noise, you yeah. can hear the traffic. And, and his wife said, "Well, honey, are you at the are you at the hotel?" He goes, "No, I'm driving a coach right now." Yeah. So that was that was kind of a, a good story yeah. story to hear. So it's nice to think of the people who are actually calling while while you're going down the road in these. But you do have um, you know 12 volt USB charging ports right there. Um, obviously, these seats swivel. Right. Um, you know, and, and probably one of the the most important seats to swivel is your passenger seat because I don't know if we want to. Move that. Well, this is oh. this. Uh, this is look. Watch. Look. There's Mitch talking. Now this is our our, our streamer right here. But yeah, this flips. Mm -hmm. I guess I can move this right over here Perfect. into the kitchen and show you how that works. Let me move our hot spot. See, all of our tricks are revealed. Let's see. We're not receiving video encoder. Did I mess that up? Now that I moved it. Uh oh. I didn't touch a single button. Can somebody hear us? If you can hear us, let us know. All right, we're okay. going to try and fix it. I didn't touch a single button. Let's see what happens. All right, and we're back. We had to go let the dogs out. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and show us how this works. All right, so this actually just flips up yep. and goes down just like that. So we, we were able to attach a, attach a grab handle right here, so that way when you're coming in on the coach, you don't have to grab up here and, and, and really you know, try to find a handhold. Uh, once again, that's kind of some of that customer right. feedback that comes into us. Now, you do have uh, two 12 volts and then right. also a place to plug in your laptop, um, but it's just as simple as coming up, going down just like that. And so, we got storage underneath and a dog dish. <laughs> the, most the, people love to travel with their pets. The Thor Motor Coach way. Yep. No, <laughs> so. it is. It's a, a really convenient for, and it's we got the residential vinyl flooring in here, so you don't have to worry about getting, I mean, it's su su super easy to clean. Mm hmm really really durable and dogs and cats mm -hmm. will love the dish something that's easy to sweep something that's easy to sweep out um you know a lot of people who have kind of a step up like this yeah. they'll do a, a, an access port or something right there um and then you have a, a latch that you get to step right. on and you know doing drawers for us is just it's a little bit it just makes more sense right. so and that's one thing you'll notice is this coach we we try to pack as much storage in as possible mm -hmm. you know a, a lot of people don't really realize what goes into to designing a new motorhome um, and, and one of those things is, you know, we did customer surveys. We, right. we pulled people who, I forget how many hundreds, mm -hmm. of people who actually own B-Vans. And we asked them the questions, how do you use it? What don't you use? You know, what's something that you don't really need in your coach? Right. Um, you know, what's something you absolutely have right. to have? You know, and figuring out kind of the demographics. Mm -hmm. And one of the, the big things that, that, you know, everybody wants more of is storage. Right. So finding ways to add extra drawers, um, you know, head storage or, or overhead storage up here, even up here where, you know, a, a nice little place to add your maps, right. you know, right above the cab. 
<laughs> or, or not taking that away. Right, another bin right yep. up here for a uh, exactly. privacy curtain or whatever else. I'm going to mm -hmm. show off the kitchen. I promise I won't stop streaming this time. <laughs> We're going to try. Me. Here, I'm not touching put this on. I'm not touching any buttons. There you go. Yeah. See how careful I can be when I put <laughs> my mind to it. All right, so let's, let's walk through the kitchen here. Yeah, so kind of starting from this side over, we yeah. do have our pop-up reset. Okay, so that's going to give you three outlets, and once again, more USB charging, just because everything uh, seems to charge off the of USBs anymore. Um, one of the cool things that that, that I really mm -hmm. that I really like is our little cutting board. Now this does come out. You can right. put, kind of use it as a kitchen extent. Yeah, there's a countertop, put it out. or take it out. It's a nice little uh, cheese yeah. tray. It's held in with the magnet, so it's not going to come flying out while you're going down the road. Um, you do have a, a little uh, nice little high point microwave that pops open. Um, you know, you're going to be able to to, to cook. You know, pretty much right. anything Whatever you want in there. there. You know, I think we have a pretty cool cooking channel, if I remember Monitor correctly. Stand. We do, yeah. You know. Mobile Meals will show you how to cook in uh, all your motorhomes because they're all equipped with the same great features. Oh, yeah. We have our 12 volt fridge. Yep. So that has a nice little lock right there. Pulls open. And it's actually, you know, for the, for the size of the fridge, right. it has a lot of storage in there. Um, you know, and that's something that's always kind of a struggle with uh, with an RV is where do you put the or I'm right. sorry with a B van is where do you put the fridge and right. you know what sizes because well, and you want to make it convenient too so everything yeah. you have is right here if you're sitting yep. on the couch you can reach in and grab a drink yeah. or if you're driving in fact mm -hmm. go grab me something to drink please yeah you know this is kind of our, our extra it's stuff for storage yeah. um, you know when you get the when you right. get the vehicle you have extra filters and, and, and ways to take those out um, you know if you want to we can actually run out and do the awning real quick. Um, because these are going to be awning stakes. Okay, yeah, so. we'll show you how to do that when we fire up the BM Pro. Okay, well, we'll, we'll do that in a little bit. We, yep. know, we know where they are. They're in this drawer. So Perfect. Also through oh, here, sorry. we have a new two-burner gas cooktop. Mm -hmm. We got our stainless steel sink with cover. Mm -hmm. So there's actually quite a bit of good amount of kitchen room, kitchen mm -hmm. space, counter space in here mm -hmm. um, for, for prepping, prepping meals. Mm -hmm. And we lined the beautiful cabinetry from front to back. We got mm -hmm. all kinds of room in there for you. And I love this is, this is the good cabinet. You yeah, so so these cabinets we're actually bringing them in from overseas. Okay. Um, you know, we really wanted to kind of step up the interior right. of this coach. You know, give it that high end feel, maybe that little bit of a Euro yeah. look. So we're doing this curved um, cabinetry mm -hmm. on the front, and then it has the nice silver inlay, um, and it really sets it apart from really anything else that we build. You know, outside of the the, the, the Tuscany. Right. So. And when we open this one. Oh yep. We have all kinds of goodies in here. Mm -hmm. So this is our entertainment. Uh, this is our mm -hmm. entertainment. So this gives you all of your your TV hookups. That's going to be pretty standard. You do have a, a power outlet up here. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you also have this little feature that's yeah. going to be your, your Truma system. And so. what it, explain what yeah. that is and how that works, because I think it's really kind of a, a great system to have. So Truma is kind of our, our all-in-one heater. It heats up okay. your water and it also heats up your air. Um, and, and what it does is it actually, while it's producing warm air for the inside mm -hmm. of your coach, it takes a lot of that heat and actually heats up the water with it. So it's very, very efficient. Okay. Um, it's it's something that you know customers really kind of ask for. Right. Um, it's a it's a little bit one like I said one of those higher end higher end features that we put inside the coach. But li like I said, it's a uh, it's something that's going to heat your water mm -hmm. and it's going to heat your uh, your your air as well. Yeah, like a yep. hydronic heating system there. Yep. So, exactly. And then you can I know there's an app for that and you can yeah. hook up the app and make all your controls that way. All your ports for USB, HDMI, yep. antenna everything you need in mm -hmm. here so we are back into your seating options your bed options yeah we have one of the two tables set up so let's talk about when you were laying this out uh, this design yeah so this is oh kind of back up here this is almost reminiscent of our very first you know we'll call it the the axis and vegas floor plan right. that 24.1 mm -hmm. uh, which was a hit especially when we came out with it but you have two twin beds right. um one on either side and then if you want to you can convert it into kind of a large king in the middle the way that this one converts is it's pretty simple you have these little uh, aluminum rods you mm -hmm. have a couple of them that go all all across between the beds um they run all the way over Ooh. then pop in right mm -hmm. there um, and then what you do is you actually take your tables down and set them down, uh, and that kind of creates your right. base. And then you have your cushions. Yep, and then you have cushions uh, right behind you, and then that's actually what's going to fill out the rest of the mattress. So. And I do want to mention underneath your mattress ah. is the Froley sleep system that mm -hmm. puts you in the orthopedically correct position, Mitch. So you'll wake up refreshed <laughs> and ready to tackle the day. Absolutely. Now, we do offer a little bit of extra storage in here. Mm -hmm. um, we, we do send out some mm -hmm. of the, the tables and a couple mm -hmm. extra bags um, or the, the crank up for the awning, yeah. you know, if you end up losing. And that's where you that. store the tables. The headrests, though, also uh, yeah. pop up. You want to put the table away? Yeah, I'll put the table away. I'll show you how this stores away right in here. So that's nice and easy. And then... That unscrews. 
And here's all USB charging ports down below there yep. as well. Absolutely. All right. All right. You want to bring that down? Yep. There you go. And the way these work is you'll notice that this is going to be a hinged mattress. That's because if you come back here and lift that up, you can do a little bit of, a, of an angle. So if you want to, you can, oh, sorry, you can watch that TV right across from you while you're laying in bed. Uh, now, someone's asking uh, about the fridge. Is it uh, running propane as well or is it uh, just electric? Just electric. Yep. It's electric there, Jim. Good question. Um, one thing that we didn't point out, uh, we kind of went yeah. over, is the, for as far as entertainment goes, yeah. you do have a 24-inch TV in here, okay. uh, which is a pretty large TV for, for a van. Um, it, it is on an articulated arm. Um, you pull that down, you pull it oh, out. Okay. Now, <laughs> if you're sitting up front and you want to watch a movie, you can obviously turn it that way, um, or you can do it while you're laying in bed. But one thing that's actually really cool is this arm can extend out okay. and actually point the TV outside oh, the coach. Nice. Yeah. So, you know, obviously we don't have a... An exterior TV on a on a on a van just because it'd right. be a pretty big hole in the right. side, um, but you still get that feature right. with the one TV we have mm -hmm. in here. And on a day like today, a little screen door for breeze. Little screen door, especially if you're in northern Indiana yeah. where the mosquitoes like to hang. Yeah, out. with the, with the <laughs> rain we've had. Oh yeah. Uh, let's talk about the BM Pro uh, Rapid Cam Plus system here yeah. because this is a, a great little tool that's app enabled and really does everything that you need it to do. Absolutely. One of the things that kind of separates this from a lot of other um, Android systems out there is when you turn on the coach, mm -hmm. um, you know, if you have a coach that has an Android system, you know it could take anywhere from you know, 30 seconds to three minutes for this to fire up. Um, so that was kind of one of the bigger customer complaints. And, and what we want to do is rectify that by giving you uh, light options at the bottom. So if actually when this is firing up, these are hardwired in. So during that 30 second kind of lull time, you can turn on your lights, you know, so if you're coming back from, mm -hmm. from another friend's campground or a hike and it's dark out, you're not standing in your, in your dark coach for, for a minute yeah. waiting for everything to fire up. Um, but this, uh, one really cool thing about this is it, it is app based. Mm -hmm. um, so you can be laying in bed at night you can uh, use your phone to turn on your lights, turn on your generator, anything that you can do on here, you can do on your phone. Um, but if you go through, you know, it kind of gives you, uh, you know, your pretty standard uh, levels. So mm -hmm. I've kind of gotten a glare here. I'm not yeah. sure if you can see it. Yep, you got your, your fresh water, your propane, you got everything there, your lights, climate, so everything's right on that screen. Then you can kind of go through uh, each mm -hmm. thing here. What do we got on that one? There's our tank levels. Yep. And then you turn your tank heaters and your water pump on there. And there's how you put out your awning. And there's your climate, mm -hmm. and then we have our lights as well, and then we have our generator button as well, mm -hmm. and then away we go with our vents and pans. There you go. All right, just like that. You want to put out the awning, show people how this works? Yeah, absolutely. All right. All right, so you come in here. Because uh, there's a couple right of different there. options there. Yep. All right, so you hit your awning, mm -hmm. and then you do... Oh. You got the key on. Oh, there's your problem. I wonder what the error was. Yep. All right, so we obviously don't want our awnings to come out while you're going then, down the road. So that's a safety <laughs> precaution, so your key is out, the vehicle is off. There we go. All right, you hit the extend button. And One touch, and it's going to go out. Now, there are a couple of ways that um, you can set this up. Mm -hmm. we got uh, the sides. We have, you can stake it in the ground. depends on how you want to use it. Mm -hmm. You can adjust the, the pitch on it as well. Mm-hmm. All right, so once this comes all the way out, we'll show you really the, the key to this awning is going to be these awning legs that we have in here. So if you want to go overhead and, and uh, go over to that side, notice how it does come down a little bit low. <laughs> so you need to make sure that uh, you are using these. It'll overextend and extend back in. Make sure you have a nice, tight feature right there. So push that in. You push that in right there. All right. And then we'll actually, we can go ahead and attach it to the side of the coach if you want to zoom in right here. Um, might need a little bit of grease. So you have this little foot right here. Yeah. You run that into the oh, bottom and that up like that and just locks it into place. This is going to be very similar to the foot that we use on our Outlaw product. Um, and then you have these little tabs, get it kind of leveled up with your neighbor, yep. then take lock that into place. Lock it just like that. And there you have it running. And then if you want the pitch, you can again take and lower one of those. And it also, we can set this up. Yeah, on absolutely. Yep. Go ahead and show on you that. So yeah. This up. Hold on. Oh, I unlocked it. So you lift this up. <laughs> and then hard to find good help. Up, Mitch. There we go. All right. You pop that down, and then uh, you might have noticed inside that drawer there were a couple of uh, stakes. So there are holes in the bottoms of these feet, so you can stake this down. 
you know, if you don't want to have anybody worry about, you know, hitting their head while they're getting in and out of the coach, this is a great way to do it. Mm-hmm. And away you go. There you go. I feel like we're camping already. We are. We are. You know where we are? We're actually out at the uh, RV Hall of Fame. We're in just a, hard to believe, a couple of months. Mm-hmm. We'll be coming to you live uh, at Open House. So. Mm-hmm. But anyway, this is the brand new sequence, and it is, like, shipping now to Re- dealers. Like, just starting to ship out some of the first ones. We're doing a little bit of dealer training this week. Okay. I've, I've gotten a There's look. obviously a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you, do, you do. You think, you think, oh, it's just... It's just a van, but mm-hmm. there are so many bells and whistles and mm-hmm. features in there. I mean, a couple of things we didn't uh, mention. We did mention it has the, uh, the WineGuard Connect 4G hotspot, which Correct. Is, uh, allows you, you, you sign up, you choose your data plan, then you can create your own safe, secure internet, work, mm-hmm. inter- uh, internet network while you are on the road or if you're at a campsite or somewhere. It is an extender, so you can pull in the signal. You can mm-hmm. also set that up with the password to keep that safe as well. So it's mm-hmm. really got a lot of neat options. It's your radio antenna, it's your TV antenna, so it does a lot of mm-hmm. really neat features. It does, it does have a 1,000 watt inverter as well. Oh, want to talk about that? Yep. Yeah. Um, so that way you can uh, run some of your 12 volt off of your, your or, sorry, run, run some of your 110 off your 12 volt batteries. So, okay. you know, and, and that's, like I said, some of those bigger features that, mm-hmm. that we're used to seeing in a lot of our other product, you know, one of the advantages to, to having a lot of those other products in our, in our, uh, in our lineup is mm-hmm. we, can, we, we can feed those features into a smaller van just because we're used to, to working with them. So. And that is the sequence. Any other little tidbits? Any little nuggets uh, that uh, we... Did you guys we t- talk about the roof rack? Yeah, we did talk about yep. the roof rack. Yep, we got the storage uh, the mm-hmm. storage rack up there. Um, and if you'd like kind of a condensed, you can you can watch this and share it with your friends if you like a condensed version. That's coming out live on YouTube. In fact, if you're watching this on Facebook or on Periscope right now, go ahead to our YouTube channel, subscribe, uh, and hit the little bell. You get notification when new videos are coming out, which are starting to come out all the time. The sequence video is coming out momentarily. When we wrap this up, we'll launch that for you. If you're watching this on YouTube and you're not subscribed to Facebook or if you're not subscribed to Periscope, you kind of see where I'm going with this. So go ahead and like the channels because there's all sorts of great blogs out there, blog articles, and we kind of keep the platforms uh, unique within each other. We even have a, a Pinterest we have a Thor Motor Coach Pinterest as well. So a lot of ways to connect with us. Don't forget mm-hmm. uh, ThorMotorCoach.com. If you have questions, you can reach out to our sales advisor and uh, get some answers there. Mm-hmm. And you, you can get a hold of me. Mitch works right down the hall. <laughs> I he get stops, lots of calls. He stops in our <laughs> We are out shooting a video. Hey, Mitch, on this. Uh, so uh, you, you, Mitch, Mitch knows his stuff. So mm-hmm. I do appreciate uh, mm-hmm. taking time out today. I know you got a lot of... Yeah. event activities to take care of mm-hmm. and I'm glad we could walk through it with you so yeah. we'll be coming to you live here again very soon with I'm sure something else very exciting so we have a lot of great things uh, in the pipe we also have again uh, in September our big open house which is always a fun time so thanks for watching thanks for your comments we will get you answers our social media director is she's taking Tracy's taking care of uh, your questions right now thank you very much Tracy for uh, helping us out while here so I could keep my attention on Mitch Thank you. So, <laughs> we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks. I don't think we really missed anything.